from Capitol Hill is Iowa Congressman Steve King. He's one of the 28 Republicans to vote against the budget compromise. Congressman, good morning. And let's good begin morning. with why you voted against this. Well, I've taken this stand all along for a year that if Republicans win the majority, we must first vote to repeal Obamacare and then use all of our leverage in every appropriations bill to cut off the funding that would be used to implement or enforce it. Two federal courts have found it unconstitutional. The White House is delaying the Supreme Court review of this while tens of billions are spent implementing a piece of legislation that America has rejected and I believe the Supreme Court will also reject. And I thought we should have used our leverage in order to cut off all funding to Obamacare. Given that viewpoint, do you think that Speaker Boehner has failed you? I wouldn't go so far as to say that. He had a different set of priorities, and a lot of political capital was used on the cuts, and by the time we got through that, uh, we just didn't have enough leverage left to work on that, what I thought was the most important issue, and I think history will show that. Would you have rather seen this morning, then, a government shutdown? In the long run, we needed to be able to face a government shutdown and, and hold our ground. It's worth it. That's $2.6 trillion in outlays, the first full 10 years of Obamacare. And if we're not willing to face the threat of a shutdown, which was being threatened, of course, by Harry Reid, and the discussion was initiated over there, you're not as strong in your negotiations if you're not willing to use the tools that the other side is using. They were willing to use the shutdown. We were not. I think we could have gotten more if we would have been willing to face a shutdown. And what do you think that would have done to you, politically speaking, and your followers and the people who have voted you into office? I think that that would have been sorted out in the in the court of public opinion. There would have been an intense public discussion like there was in 95. Public opinion actually short, sorts that out. They get a hold of their members of Congress who get a hold of their, their leaders. And uh, over time, some people decide to change their position because of the pressure. That would have been decided. But I think the American people would have sided with us. What I want to do is fund all the legitimate functions of government, none of Obamacare. I think that bright line would have put the president in a bad position of having having to say that his signature piece of legislation is more important to him than all of the functions of government all put together. Given what you want and what ultimately was accomplished here, what do you think it says about the power of the Tea Party movement? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a tremendous amount of leverage there. There are 87 freshmen in this Congress. Quite a, quite a few of them are here because of the support of the Tea Party. I think we'll see the next vote a little bit stronger Tea Party, and then uh, they've got to be engaged with the members of Congress in a personal way. And I think they're going to get I think they're going to get strong and stronger. And I know they're looking to the 2012 election now. Mm -hmm. So we will see as uh, days and weeks and months unfold. This is not a one-shot deal. They know it, and of course we all know that. Well, it's absolutely not a one-shot deal. And when it comes to the 2012 budget, what do you think people can expect and is the fight potentially going to be even harder and more destructive than the one that we just saw transpire? You know, I, that's that's something I, that concerns me a lot about this. That you always want to use the highest leverage point to be able to achieve your most difficult goal. And so, as we move forward, the Ryan budget will be debated, but it doesn't have the force and effect of law. So it's just a, it's a debate point. Then we will go through 12 or 13 appropriations bills. I think we'll debate them intensively in the House, and I think Harry Reid will put them in his desk, take none of them up until the last week in September, where he'll put them all in one big omnibus spending bill, make his changes, and add his money and drop that on our desk and at the end of September and we'll be at another crisis of the threat of another shutdown but that's only the debt ceiling and the end of this fiscal year are the only two leverage points now in this 112 the first the first term of the 112th Congress Congressman King thank you so much for joining us thanks for having me good morning good morning now here's Jeff